Mm -hmm. Hey, Declan, are you ready to go to Spain? I am. You yeah. are? That's awesome. You're ready to go to Spain? Yeah. You excited? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those pancakes good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had four pancakes. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. You better not puke on the plane. I am not. All right, guys. So we are here, finally. Uh, finally, maybe not jet lagged. Our kids are sleeping maybe kind of normal. We'll see. Yep. We'll see tonight. Everything's getting better. woke up at 6.30 this morning. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went down to the town square today and we had our first coffee, like made by someone else in Europe. And uh, yeah, so good as usual. And the kids played at the playground for the second time. But man, this has been a crazy trip so far. I think this is my craziest international trip of ever, or any trip that I can think of, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it started with check-in, as far as we can remember, but uh, we went to check-in online and on the app and it wouldn't let us check in. It kept saying that um, we needed visas and it's because our tickets are technically for 90 days exactly. I counted multiple times. And so uh, I actually drove to the airport that night hoping someone was at the desk so I could deal with it in person, but no one was there. Sat on hold for a couple hours, multiple times. As usual, you know, I love to sit on hold with Lufthansa and uh, got nowhere. They said they couldn't do anything with my personal information and we had to do it in person. So, I don't know, leaving for a three month trip on, you may or may not be able to check in was kind of terrifying. So that was fun. Uh, while checking in, I found out something fun on Emberly's passport. Here, Chelsea, you tell them. Oh my gosh, I don't know how we didn't catch this, but on her passport, and I think the reason we found out when Jordan was entering Emberly's ticket info, it must have said they didn't match, I don't know. But on her passport, she is listed as a male. <laughs> yep, an important document, she's a male. Oh, look, I don't the cows, know. they love each other. <laughs> They're like best friends like you and me, except for those are two girls, so it's not like you and me. <laughs> Oh, oh look at them. They're they're <laughs> snuggling. Oh. You are so weird. Anyways. Yeah, so so the passport people messed up our daughter's passport and made her a male. Yeah. Which makes everything else even crazier because now when we come home to apply for our visas, we have to get a corrected a passport. corrected passport for Emberly. Just like a corrected birth certificate for JL because I also found out they spelled my name wrong on her birth certificate. Yeah, so... Seven years later, we seven find Seven years out. later, yeah. So before we even got on the plane, um, Satan was trying real hard to keep us from going. I felt really gross and sick, and all this craziness with the passports and supposed visas. And all the COVID testing, too. Mm. We did all these, like, COVID tests. So Jordan put the wrong birthday on JL's COVID test, and so we were worried about that not matching up with her whatever her stuff and so we had I had to go back twice because the first time they said they fixed it but it wasn't fixed so I had to go back the day of Jordan and Matt and the kids were driving to the airport and Laura and I were sitting at the place trying to get the COVID test corrected and then we didn't even need them yeah. at all yeah so they just they didn't even have us upload our tests they just asked us if we had them and that was it so yeah we got to the airport with all 30,000 of our luggage and all of our stuff, all of our junk, and uh, they finally let us check in. But even in between that time and getting to the gate, we really didn't have much time to do anything, to film. Oh, we even have to go back all the way to the morning of when we were leaving for the airport. We were trying to cram it all into our van, oh, yeah. and there's no way it was gonna fit. And we were like cramming stuff, and Laura's like, um, I can drive you guys in the truck. I can follow you behind and stuff, and we're like, Okay, and then it was like perfect. We're like, why didn't we think of this before? They had like this massive space in the back of their truck for all of our luggage, and it mm -hmm. worked out perfect. <laughs> yeah, so we have way too much stuff, which made traveling through the airport even more fun. Uh, carry on for each kid was a bad plan. And the car seat. And the car seat, and the stroller, which Lufthansa broke. Yes. And oh my goodness, Declan did not sleep at all. I like, slept for like 30 minutes, and this is like a nine hour one? flight. You did? Yes, oh. for like 30 minutes though, but a nine hour flight, and yeah. he was already awake 
all day. He didn't take a nap at all, so he was awake from like, what, 7.30? Mm -hmm. And then all the way, our flight was at 2.30, and he only slept for 30 minutes yeah. on this nine hour flight. Yeah, which was crazy. And then uh, there was some wonderful passenger who kept shushing our baby. Like, not a lot, but every couple of minutes for a while when he was screaming. And again, it was hard because I really didn't feel good, so Chelsea was being wonderful and trying her best to let me sleep, so every 15 minutes she'd come by, though, and give Declan <laughs> and to me <laughs> again. And then I'd hold him and deal with him for a little bit and pawn him right back off, it, so. It wasn't too bad. It was, like, he wasn't cranky unless we were, like, holding him. He just wanted to explore. Like, he just was wired. Yeah. So we finally landed in Germany. Didn't need our COVID test, didn't need anything. Mm -hmm. um, so we paid, what, $210 for something we didn't need because Germany was unclear, uh, which was fun. But we made it through the craziness of Germany, had to go through security again, had to go through passport checks, and got right onto our plane. Oh, but- Literally, as soon as we walked up to the gate, we walked onto the plane. Yeah. We didn't have, like, much time. Yeah. It was nice, though, because our nine-hour flight was actually not full, so we kind of got to spread out. We all had, like, our own rows. Mm -hmm. It was really nice, and the kids all got to lay down. So yeah, then we got on our Lufthansa, or our Germany flight. I didn't spill um, hot tea on <laughs> anyone this time. First time we went to Spain, I spilled hot tea on some German guy in a nice suit next to me. It was great. Uh, Declan did sleep on that flight, Yes, though. and you. You and Declan <laughs> were knocked out the whole time. I slept with my head, like, straight down. Yeah. So yeah, you got a bruise. Well. You can't see it, but it's there. It was marked, yeah. <laughs> So we finally made it to the Basque Country, got through with our checks, and then super thankful for our friends Ernesto and Mikel and <laughs> Yoseba uh, for picking us up. Yeah, uh, it took three vehicles. Three vehicles, one truck here. with all of our stuff, and then a van and then a car. We probably could have fit in two, but they were awesome. They brought three just in case, and we spread out. Declan spit up, spit up or puked up. <laughs> on the way from the airport to our Airbnb. Within like the first 10 minutes in someone else's van. Yeah, threw just threw up. Luckily, it was just on himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, uh, oh, our Airbnb host was not ready to check us in. Yeah. Uh, because I had no service, so I couldn't contact them. First night, Declan was awake at 2. Yeah. And then... It was like 1.30. he didn't go and back And then Emberly bed. woke up at like 3 or something yeah. and kept... They, they just didn't go back to Yeah, bed. it was great. And then the second night, same thing. I really woke up at like three and just would not JL sleep. has been perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Like um, the, first, yeah. the first night slept all night long just as mm -hmm. if we were back at home. And then during the day, most of us are like tired, wanting to take naps. She's fine all day long. Yeah. <laughs> She's on their schedule, like, so. Yeah. But yeah, it's been, it's been real fun. Um, all this craziness, all the hectic travel stuff. Uh, and I was actually talking to Chelsea about this because even like we, you know, got into a grumpy fight because we were both jet lagged and over stimulated and tired. I cried. Not because of the fight. I was just overwhelmed yeah. and jet lagged. And I, I, we did this when we moved to Hungary too. Yeah. That's like the first thing that I did when we got there was cry. For like two <laughs> hours, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, so travel with Chelsea International time, and you'll see her cry. The change kills me. Yeah, I know. After that, like we just tried to calm down and talk about it because we realized like we don't, Actually, we talked about this on the way to the airport too, I think, but we don't struggle against flesh and blood, but against, you know, principalities and dominions and darkness and, and all that stuff. And even like not being able to check in, like Satan was trying to stop us from checking in and trying to make it complicated and hard. And he made, you know, the, the flight was hard and jet lag was terrible and all these things. And like the enemy clearly doesn't want us here, but we just kept pushing forward, kept fighting. And now we're here and things are great. Um, we're hoping maybe to go to Bergada tomorrow and just start looking at where we're gonna live, hanging out with the people, hopefully gonna start looking at buying a car and how to buy a flat. We have to get our knee number, which is like a European tax number. We're working on that. And so that's kind of what we're doing right now. But the first couple days has really just been chilling, yeah. sleeping, we did and have to go getting over jet lag. Yeah. Shopping though. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. We went to the park a couple times. Like I said, we went down to the city. And yeah, so that's what we got for you guys right now. Hopefully there's more to come. <laughs>
we'll try to film more and vlog more and stuff. But thanks for following us. You can, uh, you know, comment below again. What do you guys want to see in the Basque Country? What are you interested in? We'd love to share with you. We'd love to show you more about the culture and the people. And or like, if what questions do you have for us about what we're doing? Just comment on the video, and we'd love to answer those things for you. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever, and we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for departure, please check to see that your seatbelts are securely fastened, your window shades are open, seat backs are in the upright and locked position, your tray tables have been put away, all your carry-on items are securely stored. So you guys want to see our Airbnb? Do you? Do you? Do you? Too bad, because it's really dirty right now, but we'll show you later.